I'm Noah, and on this channel, I bring you with me to explore the hidden gems of China. I've been around the world, but where I am right now, nestled deep in the mountains of western Yunnan, is a place with a history and culture that is an unexplored gold mine. I have a friend, a former Chinese tour guide, and I asked him, where are your favorite ancient towns in China? And he gave me two places, both of which I'll be stopping on this 2022 Yunnan tour. So I've come out to the middle of nowhere in Dali's Yunlong County to find out what is Nuodong Ancient Village and what makes it so special. In the village itself, there are no roads, just a path of stone steps going up and down the mountain. As soon as I entered the village, looking up at these Martian red houses, contrasted against this otherworldly mountainous backdrop, I got an amazing feeling. The feeling that I've just encountered a whole new world that's waiting for me to explore it. One of my first great connections in Noodong was my hotel owner. He was so nice he refused to let me carry my own suitcase up the hill. Having arrived and settled into my hotel, I was ready to dive headfirst into the history of Nuodong. This is the oldest historical village and earliest special economic zone in Yunnan province. Since before Christ was born, this area has been coveted for one thing, salt. <laughs> And while plenty of salt remains in Nodong today, the salt mining industry has faded away. Sitting along the mountain top that evening, I met two fabulous new travel companions, Wang Rei and Su Mian. Wang Rei told me a story about how he heard the salt was discovered here in Nuodong. 传说啊，先传啊，就是在西汉的时候，可能是两千多年前，这边可能是有一个放羊的一个小孩，然后突然发现他的羊就是特别喜欢到那个有个地方啊，就是吃那个草。哎，他就过去看观察，然后突然会发
door on the side of the hiking path and uncovered this seemingly hidden Taoist temple. Down the hill, there was a special reward waiting for us after we finished our morning hike. So I've just had the pleasure of being invited to this beautiful home for lunch with these just really down-to-earth people. It was especially special because this was the moment when I got to try Nodon's famous salted ham, the curing of which is an extremely complex process that takes at least three years. While chewing on this succulent pig, it seemed the depth and layers of flavor were never-ending. If they make the salted ham in-house, Uncle was able to fill me in more on the exact curing process. <laughs> Feeling fully refueled, Wang Rei, Su Mian, and I hiked to a nearby village to see what other gems we could dig up. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to? Come. Okay, okay, okay. One of my most memorable moments from this trip came when we discovered an ancient home in the village. The hosts were kind enough to let us look around. There's something about these homes here that feel more like a holy temple than a place to eat or sleep. The lighting of the homes is fascinating. You've got an open roof in the middle where most of the light enters. So the center of the house is very vibrant and bright. But then when you look in the corners of the house, they're all dark. On more than one occasion, I found locals in a dark room with the only light they had being the fire used to cook food. The first image you usually see when you enter the home in the back between two sets of wooden stairs is an area where locals hang their sausages or salted hams. And then there's sometimes a study room, a space to keep books of one's ancestors and for children to study. My hotel owner showed us around his old home, now turned into an ecological museum. In his study room, there was a guest journal. Can you read? Nuodong is a truly beautiful and authentic place. It's just a matter of time before this place becomes widely known by the rest of the world. Very good. Nuodong is my number one off the beaten path Chinese travel recommendation. Firstly, because of the people. My last night in Nuodong, I was invited to pick vegetables and eat hot pot with a local family. It was one last act of generosity that cemented in my head that this is the most real ancient town I've visited. The buildings are completely authentic, and the people, both locals and visitors, are genuine and warm-hearted. And the place in its entirety is a cultural gold mine, or shall I say, salt mine. Throughout my three days there, witnessing and growing to understand these people's lifestyle, the thing I kept saying to myself is, I've never seen anything quite like this before, but it's pretty damn cool. I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure. Next week on my 2022 Yunnan tour. I tell you what, we ain't in China anymore.